Well, we are doing five wooden projects today. Welcome to the class style, guys. Always happy to have you in my company. And let's just jump straight into it. So I had gotten four wooden shelves like these, uh, square cubes. And they have some wear on there. These two, the other two was better than these two. And I decided that I'm going to paint it off. But before we go any further, this is a what would you make challenge. And our lovely host is okay at home DIY, Zena. Connie from Connie Creative Creations. She's another host. And their co-host today is Create with Marion. And guys, I'm so happy to be in their company doing another what would you make challenge with them. And do check out in the description box for all the information to their channels and to the playlists for today. So I did paint two in black and I painted two in grey and I'm going to let this set. I'm moving on to another project that I'm doing. I'm doing this other shelving and I am doing a smaller shelf. This is to rest those Wi-Fi boxes on for your television or to get your Wi-Fi service. I'm just using my screw gun and putting four holes on each of the sides. Once I've done that, I'm going to paint all, all the shelves. Now I have two small shelves and I have one longer shelf. Now these, from my video that I posted before, I'm doing my son's barber shop, and all these projects are going to be going into the barber shop. So I am so happy to enjoy, to share it with you. Now this is how one of the shelves look, and what I'm doing, I'm taking some wall angles. And I am just going to screw it on the underside of the piece. Now one of this is going just as you enter into the front door entrance. This is for the Wi-Fi. And another one is going in the toilet area to hold the napkin holder and, you know, a little decoration. Now this is how it's looking at the shop. Now remember, we still have some fine tuning to do. And I did do this other wooden project. I just used a piece of the board and added a print to it that I printed. Please sanitize. And I have a sanitizer bottle. What I used as the base here was a electrical outlet piece. And moving on to this other one. Now with the holes that I drilled in the corners, I'm just tying off a rope. This is just to add some elegance to the washroom area. And not because it's a barber salon that it cannot look inviting and elegant. So that's what we are trying to do with these pieces. So I'm just putting rope and tying them in a knot. Just cut the top here because I'm going to use two hooks to the top to set them in place at the barber shop. Now... I'm using my glue gun just to reinforce the knots so that it's not going to come apart. And I'm doing that on all the pieces. So I'm just tying off the knot to the top. But when I get to the shop, I am going to make it a lot shorter because there's a mirror there and there's also a light above. So I have to adjust the measurement. Now I have some blue watered down paint and I'm just going to kind of distress the wood with the paint. I prefer doing the distress look with paints instead of always sanding them off. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just giving it a little streak with the paint. Now we are at the barber shop and this, these are the walls. They are all bare for now, but I'm just going to show you what I did with it. So I added the mirror and I added a bottle and a little flower and a vine to the side. I still have to cut off the excess um, rope on the sides, but it gave it such a different look. Now this is one of the mirrors that I am doing for the shop. <clears throat> I had the framing and I'm just using these pieces of board. I think I had gotten them from a student of mine. And... Um, just using them because I did not have a whole piece for this particular one. And I did three mirrors for the shop. One in the 
the washroom and two for the stations i'm just cutting off the excess i'll screw that in place and we are at the shop we installing the wall hooks to hold the mirror in place and this is how one of them look this is to the corner side now the, it's not finished but i wanted to share the process with you and this is the other one and this is the one in the washroom area so i know you have seen this in the other project and this was piece that i had to continue for you where i use the one by three to reinforce the bottom of this particular piece and this is how it's looking this one i did keep at home and i finished everything i did put a piece of glass on top of the center Originally, I had another piece in the corridor, but I opt to change it. I put that back in the living area, and I'm using this one in the corridor. So, this is how it turned out. It turned out pretty good, and that's the reinforced wood to hold the bottom together. Because remember, I cut the whole base off, and I think it turned out so gorgeous. So, let me know what you think, guys, and let me know if you're enjoying these projects. And guys, remember to do check out in the description box for, for the host channels and the co-host and for the playlist. And do check them out. See you soon, guys. Bye for now. Catch you later. Bye, guys.